another one of these. This is a Washburn Hawk um, for, for the private collection. I'm a bit of a Hawk nutter. These are like, the best guitars you can get as far as I'm concerned. Probably, maybe. Um, so this is Ash Body or Ash Wings. It's a maple, rosewood maple three, three part neck through, um, through strung, wooden cavity cover. Still got its original tuners, brass nut, brass saddles, harmonic lock bridge. That's got sort of the uh, Allen keys that bolt in from either side to, to fix it all together. Not the original knobs. Um, I will be buying ones off eBay at some point. The gold ones, which should look a bit more like what's on the Falcon there. Um, three-way switch. This one doesn't have coil splits, and apparently never did have mm. coil splits. Well, actually, I looked inside it. It's got a printed circuit board. And that's not really why it doesn't have coil splits, but the, the pickups have only got two wires coming from them, even though they are the power sustained pickups are the same in these ones, so it never had coil splits. I haven't yet decided whether I will add them later or not. I don't know if it really needs them, because I've got the other two anyway. So maybe try and keep it just just keep it original. Um Yeah. So it's got the in, in behind this it's got the the printed circuit board that takes the things. And it's got the big metal Faraday cage, you know, the shielding thing that sits over the over the lot as well, which was a nice touch. Wooden trust rod cover. Big thanks to Michael for picking this up for me in Denmark a good few months ago, so I've been kind of waiting for it. Actually, before I bought the other Hawk, the black one there, I'd already bought this one, but I hadn't got it yet. But we were terrified of CITES because one of these got destroyed apparently coming from, I don't know if it was in Europe anyway, and um, somebody ordered it and then a couple of weeks after it didn't arrive, they got a letter from customs saying your guitar had rosewood in it, so we destroyed it. So that's not of that, so we had, we had, we had to go through all the CITES documentation to get it because it does have rosewood in it, even though it's not meant to apply to guitars that are 40 years old, but it's better to do it without risking it. Um, incidentally, the CITES documents I've not even looked at, but they're, in a, they're sellotaped to the top of the the packing box and they've never been opened. You know, still got the original safety on it, so they never even looked. But Sod's Law, if I hadn't, if we hadn't got the CITES things, they probably would have opened it and then found it and gone, oh, Rosewood, blah. Yeah, so, yeah, these are fantastic guitars, some of my favourite. This is very, very similar to these two. The big, biggest difference would be the neck is slightly more C-shaped C rather than the sort of D-shape, but that might just be because it's 79 and that's 80 and that's 81, so they might have changed the neck shape. I don't know whether all Hawks, like a, a, an 80 or 81 Hawk would have the sort of squarer D-shaped neck. Yeah, so I've done, I've done videos for them before. I'll probably do another wing video of all of them together, just as much for an excuse. <laughs> rap pedal just now. But these guitars are the most ridiculous to stay on any guitars ever. I just, I don't really know what, it's kind of, it's un, I used to find it really unsettling. I couldn't really play the Falcon when I got it because I felt it was too, it, had, it didn't give you any mistake you make, it, it punishes you for it. I'll stop, stop doing that now, but I mean, you get the idea.
inch scale so like a PRS do so it's not no Gibson's 24 and three quarters and a Fender's 25 so this is kind of in the middle or 25 and a half so this is kind of in the middle um, yes what else is there I think that was pretty much it there is not a huge difference between this version of the Hawk the Falcon and the Eagle there are later on this is so these kind of ran from sort of 79 to 81 the sort of the original made by Yamaki and Yamaki was a wee tiny factory that was like 30 people working at it so these are all sort of handmade pretty much um, very high quality guitars later on this is this is a this is also a hawk which I've done a video for before but I wanted I bought this so this this, and this it even says hawk on the headstock this is not made by Yamaki I don't think a lot of it's very similar but it's got a flat top um, it's a bit more modern this is 84 84 seats get the same num zero number system on it, so I think it might be. I think they just down it a little bit, so that's that's just a set neck as opposed to being 
through net. But um, yes, so I would obviously I wanted a hawk anyway, but because that I, I justified that one because it was a bit different because it's got Floyd Rose on it. You know, it's like no, these three don't. So that's that's my excuse for having two two hawks in my. Oh, I forgot the name again. <laughs> Cast. It's a cast of birds of prey, or a cauldron, or a kettle. I think cast's the best word. So I'm a, I'm a cumulative group of birds of prey. Even though a raven, I would I would argue isn't really a bird of prey, and a scavenger is. I always thought it was a bit of a silly name. It's, it's not right, is it? It's a kind of that's more of a, just a type of animal, so, you know, as opposed to being actually a bird. Yeah, so at, at one point I will need to get the vulture, which is a sort of base, so it's a cross between them, but it looks like this. So it's a three piece neck through, it's the ash top and stuff like that. Yeah, so. <laughs> so, Love and the Wind series. I'm finding this one much easier to play, but that might be because I'm now used to these two. I mean, they had, honestly, even though I used to bring them out and show them to people just to show how good a guitar can be. I mean, these, you know, these in Barris, Gibson Les Paul, just all round everything, um, apart from how much they're worth, obviously. But I used to struggle playing them because they were just, I felt I wasn't, I don't know, maybe just wasn't used to them. They punish you too much. I wasn't good enough. I wasn't worthy. Whereas this one, I feel, maybe just because I'm used to it, but I'm a bit more arrogant, a bit pig headed, so I don't feel I'm worth it. And I very rarely name guitars, but these ones have names. This one was called Nico because when I got it, it was totally stinking of nicotine, of smoke. I had to strip it, clean it. So I called it Nick Nico. This one's Nancy after, because it's a Nancy Wilson from Heart played one. And this one's from Denmark, and I'm thinking that they'd be calling it Nadine or Nada. I can't remember. I looked up uh, Danish girls' names starting with N. I think Nada was the first one, so I might call it that. I might just call it Hawk. Don't know. <laughs> I'm going to spend the rest of the day just playing this. Right. I think it's actually got a little bit more frets left than these two, so it's actually playing a little bit better. Thanks. <laughs> 